Hi everyone! As we step into the beautiful month of May, I'm excited to share with you Toronto Real Estate Board's newest stats comparing how real estate is doing in the GTA this month compared to last year. So today I'm going to go over three of the most important takeaways and stay tuned until the end of this video as we're going to go over our best investment property deal of the week. So let's get right into it. Number one takeaway is the total number of sales. So the number of home sales this month has actually decreased by 5% compared to last year. And the main reason for this is we had a very strong spring buyer's market because we had so much pent up demand over the winter because a lot of buyers weren't sure what to do with the interest rates. You know, are they going up? Are they going down? When are they gonna come down? So now the question basically is, is when they're going to come down, a lot more buyers fear confidence in the markets and are ready to step in and buy their homes, whether they're upsizing, downsizing, whatever it is. And a lot more investors are coming into the market as well. And this brings us to the second point, which is the number of new listings and how long they're staying in the market. The number of new listings has actually gone up by an astonishing 42% this year compared to last year. And the main reason for this is that a lot of sellers were on the sidelines during the winter because they didn't know if the news of the interest rates is actually going to get them their best value for their homes. So they were waiting. A lot of people didn't know if they even sell their home, where are they to go next? So there was a lot of sellers just kind of on hold. And because of that, now that the interest rate news is coming in, that it's going down, more buyers are coming in the markets, a lot more sellers are feeling comfortable and starting to list. The other reason is how long can some sellers wait, right? Um, there's always a time frame for especially sellers who need to possibly move into their next home right away. So the good news for buyers is there's a lot more listings, a lot more choice, and now you've got time to decide, uh, you know, which home you want to go for and time to negotiate the deal a little bit more. Now, in terms of days in the market, days in the market has increased by 16.7% as well. So listings are staying in the market a little bit longer, which again gives buyers time to decide, which is nice. So it's definitely a great time to be in the market for buyers. And now the third point is average price of homes in the GTA. The price of homes have actually not changed much compared to last year. But if you go into the category of homes, then you'll see some types of homes have started increasing in price a little bit more, whereas some have gone down. So let's get right into the categories. If you own a detached home in the 416 neighborhood, your average sales price has actually gone up by just over 1% and it gives you an average price of $1.4 million. If you own a detached home in the 905 neighborhood, your price has also gone up by 2% and your average price is now $1.5 million. If you own a semi-detached home in the 416 neighborhood, your average sales price has actually gone down just a little bit by 3% and your average price is now $1.36 million. And if you own a semi-detached home in the 905 neighborhood, your average price has actually gone up by 2% to an average price of almost $1 million. If you own a townhome in the 416 neighborhood, your average price has actually decreased by 4% compared to last year, bringing your average price to $933,000. And if you own a townhome in the 905 neighborhood, your average price has actually gone down by 3.5%, bringing you to an average of almost $950,000. Lastly, condominiums. If you own a condo in the 416 neighborhood, your average price has actually increased by 2%, bringing you to an average of $766,000. And lastly, if you own a condo in the 905 neighborhood, your average sales price has decreased by a slight 2%, bringing you to $655,000 on average. So overall, what does all this mean? It basically means that the market's stabilizing, right? We've got a lot more inventory in the market, which is great for buyers. It's the best time for buyers to come in, whether you're an investor, upsizing or downsizing. And for sellers, it's actually a really good time to list as well, because as you see, 
price is not really getting too affected compared to last year. So if you're in the market to buy or sell or invest, do call our team at Caps Realty Group. We have over 15 years of experience in doing real estate, both here in Toronto as well as Central Florida, and we can answer any of your questions and help you with all your real estate needs. And now it's time for our best property investment deal of the week. We actually have an assignment that we've exclusively listed in a beautiful building in downtown Toronto called Oscar Residences. This is right on DuPont and Bathurst, a beautiful area that's developing a very mid luxury building. And the unit that we have, what, what makes it very unique is that it's actually got 12 foot ceilings. So you feel a lot more spacious inside it. There's so much bright light, big windows, and the price is literally close to the purchase price. The buyers bought it almost two and a half years ago. So the price is 775. If you want more details, reach out to our team. There's a picture of the layout uh, right in front of you. And if there's any questions you have, we would be happy to answer them. If you're enjoying these market updates, please do subscribe to the channel below so we can continue bringing them to you on a monthly basis. Until then, enjoy this beautiful summer that we're having and we will talk to you soon.